hello so I'm here at my blender screen and first of all I would select all and delete and now press N and I will turn on my screencast keys so you can see all the keys that I pressed here so now we will start from dragging our reference in the scene but if you drag it like this it will be tilted somehow like this this is what we don't want it so what we have to do is to go to the front view and just drag this one and now shift s and move this one to the center and grab it down like this grab it upward now we will set it back but as you can see from this perspective the, our reference is not showing if you want to see that you can just check this option um, in my case like it's not really necessary but it's I think just okay to set it there so first of all I will start from a cylinder the reason that I always start from a cylinder is that it gave me uh, a little comfort and to, to me like it's very easy to start a character from a cylinder so I will make this one 10 and the reason to making it 10 is that we get a central face like this with the side which we can actually extrude and make our arms so I will set it up quickly like this um, something like this would be fine and now control R and add a loop for the arms and before continuing I would like to first mirror that so I will delete the half of the vertex and then add a mirror modifier and turn on the clipping because if you didn't turn it on it will split in the middle so we don't want that so I will turn on the clipping now it's time for making the arms uh, but as I said before that I have to just grab this one here because my character in the reference is like a little boxy so I would like to have these two loops to be scaled on the Y a little so it's like more box and now from the side view I would like to have to like extrude this one and like scale this one overall a bit like don't make it too wide and now just select the edge double G to just slide double G to just slide double G to just slide this one and double G to just slide this one and now it's ready to extrude so I will extrude it like this and now scale this one here and I can actually now set up this place so I will put this loop here this loop here and the front loop here and this loop here okay for the elbow I would add a loop in the middle and control B to just bevel so with each joint we would need three loops to actually deform this place properly and I will scale this one at X and for the hands I will extrude it uh, grab this one up and control R add loop one here one here and then select this one and from the top view I will just simply extrude that scale that and grab it here and rotate that and extrude it one more time and just scale that okay and for for the fingers um, what I have to do is to just like if I just simply extrude this it will never work because it's like as you can see it's merged so what I have to do is to alt e and make this one individual faces and also turn on the individual origin so I can just scale that and I will put it here and then extrude it one more time and then scale that so I have this kind of cute little fingers now I would like to shift right click and move this one to the 3d cursor and rotate that a bit and then I would simply add a few loops so actually I have this kind of joints here again the joints would need to have three loops also here we would need some supportive loops and one loop here 
and yeah this would be pretty pretty enough since i would only have like two kind of joints if you want three joints then you have to like also control b and bevel this thing but in my case it's not needed and these loops would be pretty much enough okay i can actually uh grab this one upside a bit and yeah we have some basic hand shape here i can grab this one up yeah something like this now it's time for this one so i can simply like do it uh, directly the clothes but i would like to have um the hip area here first so i will simply extrude this one and then um okay extrude this one and then like select the front one and e to extrude one two three four and then with the fifth i would like to simply join this one with f i'm simply trying to like adjust these and now from the front view put it up here rotate that but as you can see our cursor is there so make sure you are at the medium point and rotate that grab it up and select the whole loop and e2 extrude down here as z0 and then control r to add a loop and then SZ0. Now we can control B to bevel to actually have three loops again. Okay, down here I would like to scale this one a bit. Not that much, but like there should be a little bit different. So I would like to scale this one with Y. So it have this kind of look, which is fine. For the feet, I would simply love to like extrude this one down there and then e to extrude e to extrude down and then we have to fill this but as you can see if we normally press f this will make some problem so we have to turn on at an add-on so it's a free blender add-on so i will simply go to the git extension f2 and you have to install that first but i already installed it so i will simply come up here and search for f2 and enable that and now if I press F it will actually fill this thing and this would like help me um, a bit like work fast okay now I will grab this one here control R to have a loop the middle should be something like this and the front loop should be like scaled with this okay so, uh, now scale that with Y0 Okay, I actually doubled extruded, so let's do it again. Yep, this time it's fine. Okay, so now we need to just like adjust these. So first of all, I would like to scale this one with Y. So actually we have some kind of like deformation here something like this like just at the very basic level but yeah this will help okay i would like to add a loop in the middle also and just alt s to scale it outside and then i can actually um by the way i have to scale the whole thing with the X direction then deselect that move it up here E to extrude S to scale E to extrude and towards the Z direction now I can simply press F F F and fill that by the way I can add a loop here also and just deselect the down part 
and Alt S to scale it outside but and then select these put it a bit to the back side and now I will simply select this one and then this one and then M by last so I will merge that um, that's the basic shape of a shoe um, one loop here and then put this one here something like this okay now it's time for the head um, after the head we would do some adjustments also um, but let's start for the head so first of all e to extrude and move it towards here so this will be the neck and just scale this one or we can just simply have one more loop so it's more kind of feel like a head okay now e to extrude and simply I would scale this one to match it with the reference okay from the side it would be something like this okay extrude it one more time then again the straight and then at the top it would be again the same thing that we would be scaling it like this now we can press F to fill and put up the knife and put it here and put it like this so I can just scale this a bit okay now select these three and put it at the top something like this okay at the front add a loop here and now we have to like it should be like totally a round face so something like this you can see all the keys so if I just don't tell it in words make sure to just see what keys am I pressing so double G to just slide and something like this would be fine for now and I can like right click and make it shade smooth this will also work and and this is like pretty much it for the base of the body it's the block out Hello everyone. I hope you um just I will be doing the small adjustment later on too so but it's again looking a bit squarish to me so I'm just trying to like make it more round And this time we are going to create the clothes so let's start from here uh, for this one I would simply add a loop and one another loop and then select the previous loop and just scale it out and control E to mark sharp and this one control E mark sharp so we have a sharp edge here which is showing um, the depth of the shirt 
and for this skirt what I can do is that I have to like select this and P to separate it object so this is like we don't really need it for now but maybe if we need it we can just use that so like I have that base but now I can simply um, select this one and A to extrude and for the leg I would I think I would just have to like um, the whole thing should be somewhere around here okay so okay again the hip area would be needed to like um, loops for reference for the loop like I know there this is the hip area so I have to put some loops here and grab this one down control E and have a loop in the middle and then select these tools grab it down scale this one with X and yeah we can add a loop in the middle and just scale that with the X direction maybe just pop out it a little bit for here and yep this is pretty much fine now okay it's time for making the tie um, before that one loop I think it should be here which will also help to have some depth for the fingers and also support here because this place was really empty and just don't leave, leave a place very empty like it's not really good since you we are going to rig this out so like it should have some proper loops there okay I can turn off the hip thing because we don't need it it was just for the reference yeah so let's create the tie for that I would control shift s and move my cursor to the selected and then shift a and add a cube scale that down grab this one here scale this one with the X and now simply I will put this loop here and then select the down part and E to extrude S to scale and extrude it one more time this time S Z and 0 and then select all and merge merge it by distance so it actually merge these two loops so also it would be something like this and for the color I think again I can do the same thing that I can just pick some loops from here and I can use that um, for example I would pick these loops I just need it till here because we don't have to like repeat it all around like we can do that I can just do the whole loop but again it's not really necessary so shift D and then P to separate object and now I will just try to match it with the reference okay I will turn off the clipping select the whole loop and move it up here and now okay select all alt s to scale it outside also this vertex and now we will put these two here one loop here I will dissolve that loop okay 
so just this one vertex should be upside the surface and now I will control a rotation and scale and then I will apply the solidify and just keep it outside make it on the rim so it don't create that kind of thing but I would need that 60 and yeah this is pretty much it how I can add this color something like this would be fine <clears throat> okay one loop in the middle and this should be connected to this one and now I can actually grab these vertex down to hide it under the collar okay now uh, the third thing is this strip we can like do it in modeling um, I will select this loop uh, okay just press the slash key and I will deselect till here and just try to okay let me just see that Yeah, it will be again connected to the skirt and let me just choose that yeah it will go till here so I will shift D to have a copy of this one P to separate again the same process that we do these everything and I will dissolve this edge this vertex dissolve this vertex now double G to just like this double G here and with the knife I can just convert this place into some quads okay <coughs> and now it's time for just like matching it with the reference um, okay smooth this one out with the 90 degree so I can see this one clearly so I'm just moving it up here okay this one e to extrude S to scale and let's move it 0 and then M merge by distance um, if it's not merging it's just select these tools make it in center and these tools and merge it in center um, now it just need the thickness again so what I would do is that again I would add a solidify modifier make this one outside try to have even thickness and only rim but this need to be don't need to be this thick so simply this would be enough 60 yeah I can later on uh, refine this thing by like adding subdivision and having like the final finish model okay now we have to add this thing so um, first of all I would add a um, curve yeah circle curve then I will add a spare but this time we have to make it very low poly like we don't need to have a lot of vertex so yeah maybe like this would be fine 
or maybe like even less than that so mm, yeah now right click make it smooth scale it down apply scale and rotation now I will add in a ray modifier to have some repeats and then I will add a curve modifier so it follow the curve and then select the curve to follow and now just repeat and let's have some more space so I will put a zero one um, zero one zero three point five perfect and then just we have to put it here scale it out and try to like align it with my um, reference uh, with my model so I will keep this here this one here and something like this would be fine yeah I would like to scale my object with having the effect so if I make it one maybe and then just scale it out yeah th this feels more better okay so this was the part two and then in the next one we will be like um, adding some more loops uh, and refining it more so we have the the final model so we will be adding like subdivision and making it more cute um, if you are exporting it for the games then you don't have to like follow that you have to just do it directly but like we have the both options so we can make it a bit high poly and have some cute looks or we can simply like export it for a game like we can unwrap and do the ears um, <clears throat> I will this the next step will be just for those who want to render it this character at the end uh, but we will not be like applying the subdivision so you can still like turn it on or off like it will be completely up to you so um, see you soon welcome back here we are um, in this video we are going to actually um, make our character a bit high poly so that we can like have the final high res result so again as I said we will export this uh, as a locally if we want to make it game ready but if you want a high res model for our renders you would definitely use the subdivision so let's get started so first of all I would apply it to this thing so let's press the slash key but before that let me turn on the screencast key so you can see the keys here and with the slash key we can make it solo and now I would simply um, apply the subdivision modifier but we can apply the mirror first and yeah okay so this make it very smooth and this is not what we want because we lost all the details so this is then we have to like fix this thing so as you can see uh, all the places where we need the sharp edges that are already sharp but to reduce the uh, effect of subdivision we can add a crease here so I will simply click this one I can select it manually like this 
but there is a short key for it to select everything that have this crease so i will select it and shift g and then i click on sharpness so it uh, select everything that need to be sharp and then i can press i can press n and then come up here to the items and make the crease to about one and this will gives me this beautiful effect where i can actually uh, make my model high poly without anything like without losing my uh, shape okay so now i'll press the shape key again the slash key again and i will select the color first i think i would need to mirror it proper so i will join it but here we need the clipping so i will join it like this now i will apply everything every modifier with Control a and now add a subdivision again but again we have the same issue so i will select shift g sharpness make this one one or maybe we can just do it like 1.8 to have a little bit of deform effect also i can select all in Control e and make this one clear sharp this will actually help me but after that i can just apply this and maybe put a 90 or just 60 would also work yeah so we have something in middle actually like yeah but that will work i can just play with it or anything that i want okay now this one apply all the modifiers and add a subdivision select this one shift g sharps one and just point it if i need a more smoother one um but for this place i think i would need a sharp edge so i will make it one also this place and let's make this full okay let's clear this and just do it one more time because i think there is still like a bit gap to improve so i would also select this and now i can again set a bit higher value like 0.8 will again work point eight yeah this seems better okay I can I think I would need to mirror this first and apply that mirror yeah this is perfect now okay now it's time for the tie so again the same method we just have to like apply the sharps everywhere And let's make this to one. Yeah. I can make it smooth, maybe. Yeah, smooth is also looking good. yep so that was it short video where we can actually uh, make it high bully and high res but at the same time we need all the details we can't lose that so see you in next one